Hola, and aloha. Welcome back to Bruce with Beck. I'm your host, Dan, and how the hell are you? I'm, uh, I'm the best. Okay, I'm, I'm close to the best. Anyway, it's gonna be a nice beer that I got in front of me, uh, that I can present to you. Uh, go Nuggets. So anyway, this one is from Outer Range Brewing, which I've had a few on here before, uh, out of a place very close to Breckenridge, Colorado, Frisco, Colorado, in Copper Mountain, Su Summit County. I believe it says uh, Colorado Rockies right underneath the uh, outer range right there. Anyway, um, this one is called Willow. I don't know if you can kind of see that. Not very big writing. Uh, it is a double New England IPA, 8.6 on the Richter. Deuce, baby sleeping, not too loud. So, uh, the, I didn't see how what date the can is, but I assume it's probably relatively fresh. Probably, uh, that was weak. Fresh. Probably within the last month. You know, three weeks, month, I'm guessing. So, uh, but yeah, the double IPA, Mosaic, uh, Tetnang, and Golding Hops. Um, interesting, don't always have these, you know, if I'm even saying it right, uh, Tetnang, I might at the break make sure I'm saying that right. It's supposed to be mildly fruity and citrus-like, but, uh, you know, distinct floral and spicy character, very similar to Zaz hops, uh, which I like in Pilsners. I uh, give it earthy qualities to the final beer and Golding hops. Uh, it says amazing aroma profile with lavender, spice, honey, notes of thyme. Flavor-wise, it is earthy and mildly bittering with a sweet, silky, honey-like character. Uh, the Golding is considered to be the quintessential English hop, long held as one of the island's favorite for ales and pale ales. Just what I happen to look up. Uh, assume that's all correct. But, uh, you know, you get you see different notes. Tasting notes says on untapped, uh, might get melon, pine, and orange. People on users on there seem to get, you know, hazy, tropical, maybe a little dank. Um, but yeah, 8.6 on the Richter. And uh, a lot of people seem to like it. 3,800 uh, people rated about a 424. So I figured I'd pick it up for $6 a can. Seemed like uh, pretty reasonable at uh, Handy Mark in Burbank. Thank you, Mark. Anyway, let's get to it, shall we? Joker's with me. Buffs are with me. Got Oregon State uh, this week. Hopefully we can, uh, you know, stay on our winning streak. Uh, and... You know, unfortunately, the Joker uh, couldn't pull it off in game one of the NBA season, but we'll figure it out. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's do this. Near Breckenridge and Copper Mountain, Frisco, Colorado in the house, outer range. Let's go. All right. Please do me a solid, as usual, and crush, you know, demolish that like button. And please, if you haven't already subscribed, what the goddamn hell, please subscribe. I really appreciate you. That way you can sit down with a cold drink or beverage with me anytime you like all right all right all right please like and subscribe thank you much all right my typical looking uh, lovely ipa it kind of looks somewhere more on the pineapple juice looking side um but let's see what we get from this bad boy i think i already kind of smelled a little peppery peppery hops let's see yeah a little, uh, I assume they did a little dry hopping, but like a little, 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 little pepper on there, a little earthiness. Definitely get maybe a little bit of a, I do actually get a little bit of herbal thyme or uh, what else do they say in these golding hops? Uh, I don't know if it's lavender, but definitely herbal uh, to go along with maybe like, I don't know. Little bit of like like pineapple and maybe even like peach uh, meets like just an orange peel or something. Anyway, smells delicious. Let's not get that wrong. All right. Uh, hopefully, uh, please grab yourself a cold beverage. Oh wait. Okay. That allows you time to pause. All right. Let's get to it. Cheers, me. No words, just emotions. There you go. Clink. Let's roll, Colorado. Slash world. Ooh. That's nice and goes down very drinkable. Like, 
pineapple and melon meets a little bit of like, you know, green hops. Got a little excited. Sheesh. Hmm. Let's see. Now my computer is going all whack. Let's see. I mean, Mosaic is the daughter of Simcoe, Earthy and Fruity. Might get a little... You know, I actually do get kind of a little bit of bubblegum and blueberry there. Just a twinge, which sometimes Mosaic is supposed mm -hmm. to improve. So, interesting. Um, Tasting note says it's supposed to get a little pine. I guess that people might consider pine like green hops, like the earthiness. Um, I just get, get, you know, hot pepper. Um... Maybe a twinge of pine. I mean, not, yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Anyway, it's delicious. Um, definitely does not, or no, not, never mind. It goes on smooth, but it still comes off like a double. If I would have known mm -hmm. what this was, I probably still would have guessed. Mm, probably at least 8.4. I mean, I wouldn't have known it was 8.6, but that's neither here nor there. Right, Joker? Stop screwing around against the Jazz. Um, so, yeah, let's pour the rest in. See if there's any sediment at the bottom. Cheers to you, Willow. Um, I've, as I've had before from them in the Deep Steep and uh, Shore Shore, I feel like I've had another one, and I, there's another one I saw at Handy Market called Patchwork. Uh, leave in the comments if you've had that. Just thinking about buying that one. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, give me a second. I'm going to bring it down about another inch. Give me my final thoughts. Grade it. And get the hell out of here. Maybe have a scotch. All right. Hold on one sec. Barky, that uh, Johnny Walker Platinum better be ready ASAP, sucker. Uh, better get that, get that stuff right. Need it after this beer. Anyway, really I don't. But this is because this is a delicious beer. But I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, ice cold scotch. Anyway, this, uh, everything I basically already said, like, I don't, I'm not sure if I get any of the, uh, lavender, I mean, again, I'd have to taste time again. It is a little herbal, but again, just like earthy herbal, hot pepper. People have said it, it's a little dank. I don't know if I'd say a dank, just fresh green hops. At the end, little, little, little pepper. Um, maybe a little honey. Like there's a twinge of sweetness, but not really. It's basically just... Well, okay. Actually, <laughs> just when I say that, I actually did just get a little bit of like a lavender honey right there. So it's funny how a beer as it evolves gets a little warmer. Uh, taste kind of changed. So I can see all that. It's This is a nice beer. Uh, anyway... Need to you know not go too long on this one. Apologies. Let's uh, let's grade it. I think I've got my idea. It's about forty percent mouthfeel, medium mouthfeel. Uh, I would say go down, it goes down pretty smooth. And now that I've had enough of it, it actually does come off almost exactly like eight point six percent. So on the Richter. Anyway, for the for Frisco, Colorado, near Breckenridge, stellar down to hell no from this outer range. I'm going to give this one a. Absolutely typical Dwayne Johnson rock solid, or should I say Glenn Plake rock solid, if you know who that is, skiers. Uh, literally did a, a clay formation when I was in high school. Pretty sweet. Put goggles on it and everything. Uh, yeah, 95, maybe even a 96. Just short of an A+. Plus. Very good beer. Uh, you know, apparently a lot of people have had it, so comment if you've had this. And, uh, yeah, if you're in, you know, Colorado near there and you can get this, please, please try it out. If you're near Burbank, you can probably still grab some of this at Handy Market. Uh, remember, remember, please, 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 gracias, gracias, uh, like and subscribe. It takes you, it's free to you, don't have to do a thing. Like, subscribe, really appreciate you. Let's get it. Cheers to you. We'll see you on the next beer review. Peace to your family.